Well, the field had to be unearthed from a blanket of snow, but the Montana State football team is ready to take the field for the Sunny Holland Classic. Coming off a championship run and with some former players likely to hear their names called in the NFL draft, there's a lot of eyes on this program. And today, the public gets their first glimpse at the 2022 Bobcats. So let's get to those highlights. First play of the day, blue team up first, and Tommy Malott launches it to Ravi Alston, who boxes out Devin Davis and comes down with a nice catch. But that drive ends on a missed field goal, and now the gray team is up. And the Wyoming transfer, Sean Chambers, getting a taste of that Bobcat defense as his pass is picked off by the freshman, Drew Polidor. Blue team up again, and here's a nice bit of running and balance from Garrett Kuhn to pick up the first down. And next drive, watch Kuhn cut it back and evade two would-be tacklers as he hits that fifth gear. He'll rumble downfield and come up just short of the goal line. And next play, Kuhn will finish the job, powering his way behind his line into the end zone for the game's first score. Blue team up 7-0. Later, the freshman quarterback, Sean Austin, getting in some reps, and he'll air it out to Willie Patterson, who makes the fantastic catch. And that puts the blue team in the red zone. On the goal line, and Garrett Kuhn will have his number called again. He pops through the line for his second touchdown of the day, and Team Blue makes it 14-0. But the gray team storms back in the second half to take the lead, and here they are making a final defensive stand in the last seconds to preserve the win. Team Gray rallies for a 24-17 victory. You really want that game feel. You know, the score, one team gets up 17-0 and the other team's got to fight back. There was a safety, there was a two-point conversion, and ultimately, uh, you know, it played out the way it did. So I thought our guys really competed well. It's another really good evaluation tool for, for us to take a look at them. And, you know, we set the bar. That's what we talked about. The bar isn't where we need it to be, but we set the bar here um, at the end of April, and we need to be a better team come August. In Bozeman, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.